Okay, so you'll remember that The Sims uh, used to take place at home. And that if you ever wanted to go anywhere, that you would have to stop and load. So really, you only got to see life sort of one little block at a time. And um, you only really got to explore half of life because there wasn't a community that your Sims were a part of. They were alone in the world, and everybody else around them was kind of frozen in time. So uh, I think that the biggest thing that you'll notice about The Sims 3 is that uh, in The Sims 3, the world is completely seamless. You can go anywhere at any time. And, um, and the world is live. You'll, you'll notice that there's life going on the camera in The Sims 3. I can move anywhere at any time. And I can see all of the uh, all of the life around my Sims in the town. So in the past, this was never possible. Um, in, you know, if you've played The Sims before, you'll, you you know that you couldn't uh, just basically go out of your house and see what's happening in the town around you. So for our players and for people who have never uh, played the game before, this is really the the biggest difference that you're going to notice right off the bat, you know, that the fact that you can move around. And as I'm watching the game, you can see that all of the people who live in my town are alive, and they're actually going about life, uh, everyday life. So not only are my sims alive in the world, but all of their uh, friends and, uh, and the people that they know are around them as well. So um, I am, uh, right now, I'm playing with a family, uh, a household of Sims, and uh, I have five Sims in my household. I'm going to introduce you to who they are, and then we'll walk through life and, and sort of uh, show you what's different in the game. So there are uh, five characters, and, and um, I designed them to be kind of like the cast of a reality TV show. So they're all young, uh, they're all very different people. Um, over here in the park, um, we have Tamara, and uh, Tamara is a very, uh, a very unique person. Um, she has personality traits. Uh, all of the Sims in The Sims 3 have uh, unique personality traits that you get to choose. And uh, this is really a, a huge, uh, huge advancement in the game. Um, I just paused time, by the way. So when you see the game start and stop, it's because I'm pausing time. And players can do that. So they can really take a look at what's happening and get control of the situation. So Tamara uh, is very flirty. That's one of her traits. And uh, she also happens to be hot-headed. So she gets angry really easily. And then finally, she's very charismatic. Uh, she uh, gets along well with people. It's easy for her to make friends and influence people. Um, so basically, Tamara is a very outgoing person. And um, if, you, uh, uh, um, if you look at what, uh, what Tamara wants from life, uh, she has this one lifetime wish. And that's something that I chose for her when I created Tamara. I decided that I wanted her to be a very outgoing character. Uh, her lifetime wish is to be the romantic sampler. She wants to date lots of people. So basically, as a player, uh, I get to decide uh, how, how I want uh, my sim to play, what kinds of goals they want to have in life. And as a result of, of this choice, um, some of the wishes that Tamara uh, has uh, are about meeting people, being social, and dating. Um, so right now she has this desire to ask somebody on a date. So I'm just going to kind of uh, leave Tamara and take a look at who else lives in my household. And I'm going to unpause the game. Over here are some of my other, uh, my other roommates who live together. Um, Blair is very different from Tamara. Blair's a loner. Um, she's not particularly social. And she's a hopeless r romantic. So instead of being really flirtatious and outgoing. She's uh, always uh, really just looking for that one, that special person to fall in love with. Um, and, uh, and then if you look over here in the gym, um, this is the character that I've been playing with the most. And he's a bit of a nerd. Uh, his name is Cyclone. He calls himself, uh, he goes by basically by his internet name. So um, He's a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, introverted. He uh, has a trait um, that makes him a couch potato. So he likes to hang out at home um, on the couch. And basically, uh, he, um, he put on some weight. So I have him at the gym trying to work off the weight. And um, you can see that he needs to work on his athletic skill a little bit before he, uh, 
before he's ready. And the reason why, um, you know, I have him doing this is because I really want to, uh, I want to win back my girlfriend. Blair over here is my ex-girlfriend. And um, it looks like her phone is ringing right now. Um, and I really want to, uh, to try to impress her and uh, see if I can, um, see if I can get her to go out with me again. And you may notice that I have one other trait uh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, Cyclone is inappropriate. So that means when he's in public, uh, he kind of does the wrong thing. He'll do things that are rude. He'll do things that are kind of disgusting to other people. And he also has special inappropriate socials that he can do. And I'll show you that a little bit later. So, um, you know, he'll, uh, he'll leave the gym and he'll come down here to the park. And in the meantime, while we're waiting for him, uh, let's just take a look around. You can see that all the Sims in the town are out doing what you would expect them to do on a typical Sunday afternoon. Um, and uh, what's really interesting about that is in the past, uh, the Sims, the other Sims who lived in my town, were um, basically frozen in time. So if two people lived next door to each other and um, they, they formed a relationship, the Sim that you were playing with would grow older and develop while the other sim would be stuck in time and frozen. They would never change. So you wouldn't, weren't really able to tell stories about how people's relationships change over time. We've totally changed that in The Sims 3. All of the other characters in the town will grow and develop. They all have traits just like your own sims. And where it really gets interesting is when you, the player, decide to replace the sims that we put in the town with people that you know. So you could put somebody famous in your town and see what it's like to live next door to somebody famous. Or you could put your relatives or your friends, your favorite football team, uh, just about anybody you can imagine. You can put in the town and just live, live alongside them and uh, they'll be a part of your game. In The Sims 3, one of the big, uh, the big ways that your players uh, or your characters improve is by learning skills. Uh, in this, and and um, basically, uh, unlike the previous games, they can sort of learn skills through experience. So there are more kinds of skills and there are different ways to improve them. Um, so you, uh, if, you know, for every skill there are several things you can do. You can go and take classes in the skill, um, you can study books, or you can actually just go out and do the activity. So if I want to, say, uh, improve this guy's fishing skill, right now he's practicing guitar, but I'm going to stop practicing guitar. And um, it's actually interesting because he actually has a wish. He wants to go fishing. So let's give him what he wants and have him go fishing right here at the pond. And while he's fishing, he'll, he'll build his skill up. So anybody can, uh, can basically try any skill at any time. Uh, it looks like one of my sims got a phone call. So let's see what she wants. So by fishing, I was able to satisfy one of his wishes, and uh, and I get some lifetime points as a result. Uh, and lifetime points are basically one of the reward systems in the game. Um, you get uh, you get to spend those points on different character modifications and different objects. Some of the rewards are pretty cool, um, like at the higher levels, um, you actually get to buy a teleportation pad that you can use to move instantly around the town. And actually, Cyclone has a pretty cool one. Uh, the one that I got to him is this thing called the Mood Modifier that he can use to sort of zap people and change their mood on the fly.